Hi there, my name is Dr. Aubrey Tager and I'm a board certified chiropractic physician and a board eligible chiropractic neurologist. I trained under Dr. Ted Carrick, who's the world's foremost authority in chiropractic neurology and the doctor who most recently got hockey's Sidney Crosby back on the ice after he had a severe concussion. Now, I interact daily with a group of over 1,000 doctors throughout the country focusing on functional neurology or what we call brain-based therapy. This group known as the Johnson Neurometabolic Supergroup can be viewed by going to www.lifechangingcare.com where you can see testimonials from numerous patients across the country. Today, if you're watching this video, then it's usually because you or somebody you love is suffering from fibromyalgia. Now, in our office, we're different because we treat you neurologically and metabolically. We leave no stone unturned. What is fibromyalgia? Well, fibromyalgia is a form of generalized muscular pain and fatigue that affects approximately 3.7 million Americans. Now, the name fibro is a bit of a misnomer. Although the symptoms are in the ligaments and the tendons and muscles, the cause is what we call neurogenic or originating from the brain. Now, because the condition starts in the brain, it affects certain structures. One of the vital areas is called the brainstem. Now, the brainstem is made up of the upper, or mesencephalon, the middle, or the pons, and the lower brainstem, which we call the medulla. Now, normally, the brain actually sends signals or fires to the lower brainstem, and the lower brainstem fires back up to the brainstem. This is called the neocortical thalamo hypothalamic pontomedullary reticular activating system. And it took me a long time to be able to understand what that actually means. Now, if the link here is interrupted, then the mesencephalon, or the upper brainstem, is not going to function properly. This upper brainstem controls certain things in your body, like the size of your pupils. So when people have fibromyalgia, you may see some sensitivity to light. They may start to feel diffuse pain or pain throughout your body. You might have difficulty sleeping. Now, most people that I've seen with fibromyalgia experience moderate to severe fatigue, a lack of energy, decreased exercise with endurance, and many suffer from headaches, abdominal pain, urinary problems, as well as sensitivity to temperature changes. Now, when you're normally diagnosed with this from your family doctor or from a rheumatologist, which most diagnoses are coming from a rheumatologist, they're looking for 11 out of 18 trigger points to be tender in the body. But what if you only have seven or eight? Now, does that mean there's nothing wrong with you? No, of course not, that would be crazy. Now, how have you been treated if you're suffering from fibromyalgia? Have you been taking drugs like Lyrica or Neurotin or Topamax? Well, these drugs were not made specifically for fibromyalgia. They are actually anti-seizure medications. So what we're gonna do is, we're not just gonna put you on any kind of medication and hope for the best. What we're gonna do is we're gonna address you as the patient and treat you with the problems that you might be having that are deviances from what we call normal or functional neurology. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go through a thorough neurological exam. We're also gonna go through a lot of lab work and blood work and see what kind of metabolic problems there might be there. Why? Because we wanna find out what the problem is. Now, you might be asking, why do people get this? How do people get fibromyalgia? Well, one of the major factors is stress. And there's different kinds of stress. You have emotional stress. If you've been through a divorce or a bankruptcy, then that would be uh, an example of emotional stress. Physical stress, you might have been in a car accident, or if you think back, you might have had an injury, maybe a sports injury, you twisted an ankle, you hurt something. That's an example of physical stress. Or maybe chemical stress. Chemical stress is a huge factor because you see so many people that have problems with chemical stress from eating bad foods, a poor diet, eating lots of junk food, or smoking or drinking alcohol. All of these are chemical effects um, that go ahead and decrease your body's ability to heal itself. So what does stress do? Well, one of the main, th one of the main things that it does is it affects the adrenal glands. Why are the adrenal gl glands important? Well, they sit right above your kidneys and what they do is 
they release cortisol into the body. So the problem with cortisol is that cortisol is toxic to your brain. So when this occurs, your upper brain stem, or the mesencephalon, gets overstimulated and it excites what's called small nociceptive C fibers and that's what causes pain. So how can we help? How can I help you as a chiropractor? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work with you, the patient obviously, and we're going to treat areas of the brain that are affected. For example, your cerebellum. Cerebellum is one of the main things that gets affected with fibromyalgia. This important structure is part of your brainstem and it controls balance, coordination, all of your postural back muscles, and it also helps to terminate eye movement. Now we might do some different therapies than what you've seen in the past. We might use things like oxygen. Well, why would we use oxygen as a therapy? Well, when we hit 25 years old, every year after that, we lose 1% of our ability to utilize oxygen. This is known as oxidative phosphorylation. Now by using oxygen, by putting oxygen back into your body, and we do this a lot of times with exercise, which is called exercise with oxygen therapy, what we do is we have a powerful stimulant to the cerebellum. The cerebellum is the first thing to lose that oxygen, and it's the first thing that gets it back when we put that oxygen back in your body. It's very, very powerful and for the cerebellum rehabilitation. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to treat you with adjustments, not the traditional adjustments that you might have seen in other chiropractic offices, but what we call unilateral adjusting. And that adjusting could be with a high force technique, like the traditional manipulation, but just on one side, or it can be with um, different instruments like uh, an arthrostim or an activator. We might use visual stimulation or a warm caloric in the ear. That's very, very powerful um, for the cerebellum. We might use things like vibration therapy, which is also a great stimuli for the cerebellum. Or we may do eye exercises or use what's called an upper body ergometer. That's kind of a bicycle, but for just for your upper body. Now, what other kind of testing are we going to do to determine that you might have fibromyalgia or figure out exactly where the problem is in your body? Well, we're going to put you through some sensitivity testing. And what that means is we're going to find out if you're sensitive to certain foods like gluten, milk, yeast, eggs, and are there any cross-reactive foods that are making you sick? Well, how are we going to find this out? Once again, we're going to go through testing. We're going to work with certain really, really highly reputable labs throughout the country, like Cyrex Labs, Entero Labs, LabCorp, which you'll see in almost every city in the U.S., and Metametrics. You can go to any one of these companies' websites and you can check out their work for yourself. Now, there is a direct link between metabolic problems and food sensitivities and your pain. People with metabolic issues suffer from chronic pain, fatigue, frequent indigestion, and constipation. Now, what are the three biggest causes of inflammation? Well, gluten, dairy, and soy. Now, we're going to run a complete metabolic panel. That's for blood work. We're going to do tests to see if you have any kind of autoimmune conditions. And we're also going to interpret your red blood cells, your white blood cells. We're going to see if you're anemic. We're going to check your thyroid and we're going to look at functional or optimal ranges. That's different than looking at something like a pathological range. Now, how do we do that and what are we talking about? Well, I'll give you an example of diabetes. When we're looking at taking blood to see if somebody is diabetic, you have a normal range which is between 80 and 120. Then there's a functional range. So the functional or optimal range is a little bit higher. It's a little more narrow. So if you're under 84, then you're what's called hypoglycemic. If you're over 100, now you're insulin resistant, but you're not diabetic. So what are meds going to do when you're out of the functional and optimal range, but you're not in the pathologic range? You're not diabetic yet. What are meds going to Meds aren't going to do anything for you because there's no medication that exists for you until you become diabetic. But if you're pre-diabetic, it's much easier to maintain your control and to make sure that you don't get to the point where you're diabetic prior to destroying your pancreas. Now, 
what we're going to look at is we're going to look at your vitamin levels. We're going to look at iron, fibrinogen, uric acid, and things like homocysteine. Now, homocysteine is a very good indicator of inflammation. When there's inflammation in the body, it's not just throughout your body, but there's also inflammation in your brain. And the brain is where a lot of these problems are occurring. So we really want to make sure that we're doing a lot of brain-based therapy here. So what's next? Well, you have to be willing to take responsibility for your health. Now, I don't accept everyone as a patient. There's going to be changes in your diet, changes in your lifestyle. And if you're not prepared to do this, then please don't waste your time or your money with this recovery program. We're going to be treating you differently. This is going to be treating you metabolically and neurologically. If this makes sense, then book an appointment. But if you're not ready to make this commitment, then don't waste your time. But I want you to know that insurance may cover a portion of this, and we do offer financing options as well. We're going to be testing, we're going to be treating you, and then we're going to be retesting you. So we're not just going in there blind and just hoping for the best. We're going to know if things are actually working for you. Throughout this program, when we go through these different tests, this is not something that's going to be an overnight thing. This may take six months, it may take 12 months, but what I have to do is I want to ask you the following. How has this affected your life if you're, if you're suffering from fibromyalgia? What is your life worth to you and your loved ones? Is it worth $5,000? Is it worth $10,000? What's important to you? How do you, want to, how do you see yourself in three to five years? Are you committed to getting better? Look, this takes work. I'm not going to lie to you. This is not an easy thing. But we're here to help you. So once again, I want you to know that we're affiliated with Dr. Michael Johnson at lifechangingcare.com. You can go to that website. It's www.lifechangingcare.com. And you're going to be able to see numerous testimonials from different patients who have been treated this way. And you can see how this has helped them. So when you're ready to make this commitment, give me a call. Area code 802-893-1070. And once again, that's 893-1070. And book an appointment. So once again, I'm Dr. Aubrey Tager, and I'm willing to take whatever it takes. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to help you get your body better. Are you? Thanks.